Hey, fellow explorers. In this video, I'm going to take you on a tour of San Francisco's International Airport. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see what I can see. This is the International Terminal, the G gates, and I'm just coming up from the F gates. The security checkpoint is just right here to the left. There is a security checkpoint just to come into this terminal, though you can come in from the A, B, C, D, E, and F gates. First thing we've got here is the San Francisco Duty Free Store for all of your cosmetics, purses, cigarettes, alcohol that you want to get before you board. There's a Hermes store right here if you want some high-end purses, hats, that sort of stuff. The Duty Free Shop, I will point out, is it's, it's a pretty big one, I think, as far as duty-free shops go. The way this terminal works is the um, area where you board the planes or where you walk to all the gates is up here, and then all of the gates are like down a lower level. The gates here all start with the letter G, and I'll show you one of the gate areas as we get further down the end. I'm heading to Singapore today looking for gate G10. They've got some nice table areas that if you've got a coffee or you got some food or you want to do some work you can sit here they've got some plexiglass things still up from before uh restrooms generally clean in san francisco airport and bottled water fillers which are nice if you're looking for some quick food before you board your flight flight a great place is the napa farms market san francisco international airport is quite near napa a famous wine region and so in here They've got, you know, farm, farm to table foods, as they might call it, um, but uh, bagels, yogurts for breakfast, uh, sandwiches, and pizza for the rest of the day. But a neat looking shop in it. Smells pretty good in here. They got a neat pizza oven in the back and uh, a set of grab and go pastries right here up at the front. Gucci store, Burberry store. Uh, and some more restrooms over there. To the left is Mustard's Bar and Grill. If you're looking for more of a sit-down experience, you can check that out. In the middle of the terminal, they've got these people movers to help you walk to the end. San Francisco is a super big connecting airport, so a lot of people are often rushing to their flights because they're coming in late because the weather here can be really foggy, which leads to a lot of flight delays coming in here. If you're flying through here and you're connecting through San Francisco International Airport, uh, I would allocate at least three hours for your flight. I flew in today from Orange County and my flight was delayed an hour and a half getting here. Over at the G5 and G6 gates here, uh, Singapore Airlines is just boarding to Singapore. That's not my flight. I've got United a little further down the way. Now up on the right hand side is a United Club. Uh, this is the lower tier of the United lounges. The one I started in front of the United Polaris lounge is if you're in uh, international business or first class. The United Club is if you are Star Alliance Gold or just a general member of the United Clubs. There's a smaller duty-free shop down here if you want to get your duty-free shopping a little further on. There's a small seating area in this thing. Oh, that United Club hours 7 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. daily. Uh, this is a neat little shop to get your, um, you know, if you want to bring some chocolate back home from America or things like that, you can get Seas Candy. But the thing from San Francisco that you want to get is definitely the Gira Deli chocolates and, you know, maybe bring back a uh, San Francisco cable car magnet. All your, all your friends and family back home will love their new San Francisco magnets. If you like chocolate, there's a store right there that just sells chocolate, the chocolate market. Uh, one of the places I like to eat if I'm looking for lunch in the International Terminal is the Asian box right here. They have uh, Vietnamese sandwiches and they've got curry, um, but like pretty good, you know, chicken and banh mi's uh, and then some other kind of Vietnamese inspired breakfast items. Japanese food right here at Tomokazu. Uh, they have a sushi bar. You can take some sushi with you to go with some nice fresh fish right there served up. Uh, and made on the spot. <laughs> Over on the right, there's a vending machine for the, the iStore, like a, a Apple product vending machine in the event that you uh, forgot your charger or your headphones or something like that. 
All right, uh, my flight, let's see, G10. I'm gonna be flying out of that gate area right there. Um, we'll go down and check out one of the lower gate areas as we get to the end. But there are two more shops over at the end. I've walked off the people mover right now, so that's why I'm going a little slower. And if you're like, Chris, you, you sound like you're out of breath. Well, my flight board's in five minutes. And so, you know, I am dedicated to get you guys this video before my flight boards. Down at the end, we've got 1300 on Fillmore. And then we've got Joe and the Juice and United Flight that's boarding over to Tokyo. Oh, and just before I head to my gate, I actually do want to show you the end because there's a really neat outdoor terrace. I'm right above G11 and G14. Joe and the Juice is right back here, which is a coffee and like smoothie shop from Europe. And then if we come out here, this is really pretty neat. Like you can actually get outside of the airport uh, and see the runway, see the planes, get some fresh air. There's even some tables that you can eat at out here. There's benches that you can sit at. There's a little garden, there's sculptures. This is pretty cool. You can see the ANA plane that's heading to Tokyo in just a moment. You can see my plane that's heading to Singapore right now. And then coming out this way, we can see like a really good view of the uh, airport planes, all the traffic uh, planes heading out, taxiing to the runway. So definitely make it out here. All right, so let's go ahead and go down to the G10 gate area. And like I say, you can wait either up here or down below. Like if you got a long amount of time before your flight, then you'll probably maybe want to wait up here so you can still move around. When you get down at the bottom, it's like a bottom area just for each flight. But before I do that, I want to show you the view from here because the view is pretty nice. Uh, as we look back out on the airport, this whole terminal we're in is like the Star Alliance terminal. So there's Singapore Airlines, all the United planes, the um, more domestic flights go out over there. And you can see all the flights here, pretty big, um, you know, two jet bridges. And so let's go ahead and come down here and check out uh, the gate areas. And so um, I'm showing you G9 and G10, pretty much all of them look just like this in the international terminal. So you get down here, there's escalators that'll take you down. There's an elevator in the center. So if you've got luggage or things like that or a wheelchair, you'll definitely want to take that. Small seating area on the left, bigger seating area on the right. And it can get a little confusing because they board from both sides. Um, so, you know, they'll be boarding one flight over there and then they'll be boarding a second flight over here. And so you'll definitely want to make sure you get on the right flight and if you got duty free pickups um, then there's going to be a specific board just to go in to get your duty free pickup and kind of neat they've got some beetles art right there up on the wall well fellow explorers if you enjoyed this video you might enjoy some of my other videos of san francisco you'll find my whole san francisco playlist right here or another airport tour where i started this journey john wayne airport in orange county home of disneyland all right, as usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in one of those videos.